Baron Trump, the youngest son of Donald and Melania Trump, has lived a life of opulence and privilege from the very beginning. Despite his young age, he's experienced a level of luxury that most people can only dream of. From his extravagant nursery as a baby to his own floor in the family's penthouse, Baron has been surrounded by wealth and comfort since birth. As the Trump family transitioned to the White House, Baron's lifestyle only became more lavish. With access to amenities like a home theater, bowling alley, and swimming pool, he enjoyed a level of entertainment that most kids can only imagine. Now 18 years old and living at Mar-a-Lago in Florida with the Trump clan, Baron may soon enough venture out on his own. Until that day comes, let's take a look at Baron Trump's lifestyle and properties he already enjoys with his family. Baron Trump, the youngest son of Donald Trump and the only son of Donald and Melania, he has grown up in the lap of luxury from the very start. He may only be 18 years old, but he's experienced a level of wealth that most only dream of. From caviar infused moisturizers his own floor in a penthouse as a kid, Donald Trump's son is no stranger to living large. Born in 2006, Barron grew up in the lavish surroundings of Trump Tower in New York City. His penthouse home boasted gold walls, ornate furniture, and all the trappings of wealth. But what truly set Barron apart was his own dedicated floor within the penthouse. Situated right above his parents' bedroom, Barron's floor included a nursery, living room, kitchen, and living quarters for his nannies. It was a space fit for a prince, providing him with ample room to play, learn, and grow. When the Trump family moved into the White House in 2017, Barron's lifestyle only became more extravagant. As the son of the President of the United States, he had access to amenities that most children could only dream of. The White House offered Barron and his family an unmatched level of grandeur. With a home theater, bowling alley, swimming pool, and personalized living quarters, Barron had everything he could ever need or want right at his fingertips. Now, despite his privileged upbringing, Barron's parents, Melania and Donald Trump, have emphasized the importance of hands-on parenting and minimal outside help. Melania, well, she's been especially devoted to her son, prioritizing quality time with him and ensuring that his needs are met. From feeding and changing him as a baby to guiding him through his education and personal development, Melania, well, she's been there every step of the way. Barron's education has also been a reflection of his family's wealth and status. He attended St. Andrew's Episcopal School in Potomac, Maryland, a prestigious institution with tuition fees of up to $50,000 per year. In 2021, Barron transferred to Oxbridge Academy in Palm Beach, Florida after his father's presidency ended and the family returned to their private residence in Mar-a-Lago. In addition to his education, Barron's personal style has also drawn attention. Despite his young age, he has shown a preference for formal wear, often opting for suits and stylish clothing over casual attire. Melania has described Barron as strong-minded and independent with a keen sense of what he likes and dislikes. Baron Trump is Donald Trump's only child with his current and longtime wife Melania. And unlike a handful of his older half siblings, Baron stays out of the spotlight for the most part. Over the last few years, Baron has been spotted traveling with his parents, often by their sides. And when his father was still president, they would hop on and off Air Force One or the president's helicopter. They would go from their private properties like Mar-a-Lago back to the White House where they were living at, and so forth. Well, after months of living in New York City with Melania, Barron finally made the move to the White House halfway through his father's first year in office. But before that, Barron lived in what were some of the nicest living quarters at Trump Tower in Manhattan, New York. In his parents' multi-level penthouse here, he had an entire floor to himself, even though he was just a kid. His mother referred to it as Barron's living room. Now, what did a nine-year-old need with his own mini apartment? Who knows? But the Trumps could no doubt afford it. Barron's living room was complete with its own kitchen, living room, and even quarters for his nanny as well as Melania. Over in Manhattan, however, for many years, the Trump family lived in the top three floors of the iconic Trump Tower, with the entire residence decorated in a gilded and opulent design. 
66 stories high in his penthouse on Fifth Avenue, the family enjoyed nearly 11,000 sprawling square feet of living space across three levels, one of which was Barron's. Melania had posed for pictures with her newborn for People magazine a few weeks after Barron's birth, and at this time, they lived in the New York home as well. Inside the Trump Tower residence, the home had details like cathedral ceilings, a clear view of Central Park, marble fireplaces, and a diamond embellished front door. Trump took Forbes on a tour during the last presidential election, boasting the size was about 33,000 square feet, but he over-exaggerated a little bit. He had an office on the 26th floor in the building, so living and working here was easy, even a private elevator to reach it. These days, it's said that Trump's massive penthouse here would be worth an estimated $54 million. Before moving to Mar-a-Lago, Barron then moved to the White House during his father's presidential term. While we don't know what his room or living quarters looked like here, we do know Barron had access to plenty of amenities. These days, Barron and his family are living at Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate over in Palm Beach, Florida, where they moved after leaving the White House. The Trump property here boasts 58 bedrooms, 33 bathrooms, and 12 fireplaces throughout, and is used as a private resort and club too. Following the end of his presidential term, the Trumps decamped to the lavish property. 2020 reports of construction at the estate's living quarters stoked rumors of the move long before they officially called it their main home. Melania was also spotted looking at schools for young Baron, and by 2021, he was enrolled in a private school in Palm Beach. More specifically, this was the Oxbridge Academy, where Baron is due to graduate from this year. When Baron isn't busy with his studies, he can take in the luxurious setting of the family home Mar-a-Lago. Before becoming the family's main abode, it always served as the Trump family's upscale weekend getaway and also hosted a number of high-powered visitors over the years. Located in an exclusive area of Florida's Palm Beach, the property was originally built in the 1920s and has quite the history. The mansion was constructed between 1924 and 1927 for the socialite and post-serial heiress Marjorie Merriweather Post, who inherited her father's serial empire when she was 27 after his suicide. She amassed a fortune of $250 million, which would be equal to about $1.5 billion these days, making her one of the richest women in US history. With all of that money, she hired architect Marion Sims to envision her winter retreat on the beach. The 20-acre property offers 128 rooms these days and spans the entire width of the island Palm Beach is on, from the Atlantic Ocean to the intercoastal waterway. The Spanish Moorish style mansion had an exterior stone imported from Italy and tens of thousands of antique tiles dating back to the 15th century that came from a castle in Cuba. Many fixtures were gold plated and in the end Post's project went eight times over budget, a lot of which was spent on the lavish living room. Here there was a statement ceiling that was a replica of the thousand wing ceiling in Venice and this plus the walls was covered in a ton of gold. Inside Mar-a-Lago spans a whopping 62,500 square feet of space. The guest and master bedrooms reach a total of 58, and originally these quarters all had different themes. For example, there was a Dutch bedroom with antique tiles from there, a glass-covered Venetian-style room, Spanish and Portuguese-influenced rooms, and the Louis XIV master suite. Donald Trump scored Mar-a-Lago in 1985 from the Post family for the mere price of $8 million. Then in 1995, he transformed Mar-a-Lago into a private club as part of his strategy to generate revenue from the estate. Investing millions of dollars into a massive renovation, Trump oversaw many improvements to the mega estate, such as the construction of a grand 20,000 square foot ballroom adorned with about $7 million worth of gold leaf. These days, Donald, Melania, and Barron maintain private quarters in a separate area of the Mar-a-Lago mansion and it serves as their primary residence. Aside from the Trump family's personal quarters, Mar-a-Lago offers club members access to two dining rooms, a beach club, pool, and spa, as well as guest suites. And if the club's multiple beaches just aren't enough, you can relax by the various pools on the property. As he continues to grow and mature, Baron Trump's life shows the extraordinary privileges afforded to the offspring of the rich and powerful. From his prestigious education to the upscale properties he gets to call home, Baron's upbringing is something few will ever experience.
Well, that wraps up today's house tour. Answer this question for me before you go. Would you embrace the lavish lifestyle if you were born into the Trump family? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you in another one. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.